Uh, kuna umuhimu sana kwa sababu ya siasa na propaganda ambayo zinaendelea kwa nchi yetu ya Kenya ningetaka kuangazia kwa maoni yangu mwenyewe mambo ambayo yanaendelea ni ya kushangaza sana 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 na ningetaka watu mpaka ya upinzani wajue watu wamechoka people are tired They are talking nothing only incitement na issues which is not helping Kenyans. I want to remind them. The economy is not good all over the world. Na especially even in Kenya. It's not good. And we have to work out and we have to bail out ourselves. Nobody will come from outside to bail us. Lazima tujitoe kwa hii shida. Lakini ningetaka kuangazia kwa kusema wananchi pia sisi tufikirie na tutumie wisdom yetu ya kupima maneno pesa ambayo zinatajwa zote za wizi za propaganda za nini zote ningetaka kuuliza wana Kenya tuwe soba na tujifikirie kwa mafikirio yetu pesa ambayo rais anasukumana naye saa hii ya kulipa mwaka moja hii pesa si ya mwaka hii na mnajua ukweli kabisa kama ni treasury bill board ile iko ni ya hiyo serikali ile kuweko I, i want to put it very clear ni ya ile serikali iko hakuna bila board imewekwa na hii serikali ya Ruto for now hakuna hii madeni yote 900 billion ile yote tumewekwa contractors ambayo wajalipwa makasi ilipeanwa bila kulipwa all this commitment ilitoka kwa hiyo serikali nyingine let's talk the truth and that's how it is tuweke propaganda nje tuzunguze mambo ya ukweli hii mambo ya treasury bill boards iliwekwa na hiyo serikali ambaye for the first payment ile iko Ruto must pay it is 500 billion And he must pay. Kwa sababu is a commitment for the government ile ilikuweko. Na serikali hii si ya kupinduliwa. Lazima ibebe mzigo kwa serikali ambayo ile ilikuweko. Tuongee ukweli kabisa. What is your rule protecting himself? On all this issue is putting himself in politics. There must be something. Na leo wananchi wajue namna hiyo. Kwanza I want to discuss this. Treasury bill 500 billion hiyo lazima ilipwe by January. Na rais amesema hako tayari amesukuma mpaka December aone kama atamaliza atalipa hiyo pesa. Hailipwe watu wengine. Inalipwa familia ya huru, benki zao. Hii pesa yote ile walitoa nje wakaweka kampuni zao huko nje. Waka pretend wakashikana na Chinese. They are partners in Chinese. It has come very clear in the social media of yesterday. All those company owns almost 45% ya Chinese. And that's why the Chinese were leading here to take the contract. Kwa sababu he was a shareholder. Eh? Treasury bill hii mabengi yake na yeye ndio waliweza kuweka kukopesea serikali pesa. Kwa hivyo pesa ambayo tunalipa italipwa na hii serikali hailipwe wananchi wa kawaida inalipwa familia hiyo na ile watu walikuwa kwa serikali hiyo ndio wanalipwa hii pesa uhuru wa kibeba the biggest share kwa sababu benki zake zilikopesha serikali pesa you know how many banks he has familia wakachukua pesa wakapesha serikali pesa kwa sababu pesa treasury bill You can compare the salary with the interest you have agreed you have to be paid by the date. Ingine akachukua kampuni zake kutoka nje. Waka pretend ni kampuni kutoka nje wananunua hizo board. Kumbe pia ilikuwa ni kampuni zake. So we are suffering because of one person. And a group of, of people. What at what mambo ya ukabila, mambo ya ukikuyu, mambo ya ukani, mambo ya nini? The truth must be said. And you be free when you accept the truth. 
deni ile hata kama Ruto amebeba president deni ni ya kukimbizana na ni kidogo ni ya kukimbizana na mambo iliyo mbele yake kwa sababu ya mitego ambayo iliwekwa mimi nataka muulize mlikuwa nataka Ruto achukue serikali ashinde kulipa jeshi ashinde kulipa polisi ashinde kulipa sivyo savani ashinde kulipa counties eh ashinde kulipa hizo za zote was that the plan why is the president former president ni nini namwasha kama hichi iko kwa shida pilipili sio mdomo yake inamwashia nini kani hivi wapasa na kupika makofi na kufurahia serikali ikiwa na shida you must you Kenyans know there is something there is a problem we are not saying even the government is 100% perfect no but they are in a teething problem trying to balance all these things mambo ya health mambo ya nini lakini niwaambie wana Kenya na hii dunia mzima kwa sababu najua kuna watu wamenipigia wakati nimesema naenda life kutoka America kutoka New York New Jersey kutoka South Africa kutoka Canada Australia many people about uh, 15 countries have called me ask me what i want to say listen what i'm saying let's talk the truth and the truth will let us free then kubwa hii tumewekwa kwanza wewe lila odinga ukiwa azimi ni nyinyi hiyo handi shekienyu ile mulifanya ndio niweka si kwa ishida